Hello everyone, this is Creative Biogene. Today we will tell about oncolytic virotherapy. Oncolytic viruses are therapeutically useful viruses which selectively infect and damage cancerous tissues without causing harm to normal tissues. Every virus has a specific cellular tropism that determines which tissues are preferentially infected, and what disease is caused. A number of naturally occurring viruses have a preferential, although non-exclusive, tropism for tumors and tumor cells. This probably has more to do with tumor biology than with virus biology as most tumors have evolved not only to avoid immune detection and destruction but also to resist apoptosis and translational suppression, which are the crucial responses used by normal cells to limit a virus infection. Oncolytic viruses can kill infected cancer cells in a number of different ways, ranging from direct virus-mediated cytotoxicity through various cytotoxic immune effector mechanisms. These main contents include cell death mechanisms, clinical development, delivering oncolytic viruses to the tumor, enhancing intratumoral spread of oncolytic viruses, and oncolytic virus services at Creative Biogene. Oncolytic viruses mediated cell death does not fit exactly into one of the three classical categories of cell death, apoptosis, autophagy and necrosis, and likewise cell death pathways induced by chemotherapy can vary from agent to agent. Apoptosis is important for development and the maintenance of tissue homeostasis, and is usually considered to be an onimmunogenic form of cell death, while necrosis, which is less coordinated and results in the release of pro-inflammatory cytokines, has been regarded as immunogenic. Nevertheless, it is now clear that the boundaries between each classical cell death pathway are not defined and there is often overlap. This has been demonstrated through the discovery of immunogenic apoptosis in tumor cells, which can be induced by specific chemotherapies, such as the anthracyclines and oxaliplatin. Likewise, oncolytic virus-mediated cell death does not fit into either necrosis or apoptosis, but displays features of both with variations between oncolytic viral types. Generally, the immunogenic death of cancer cells involves a multi-step process, beginning with the recognition of pathogen-associated molecular components, such as viral components, which cause such molecules as nucleotides, fractalkin, and ATP to be released, which in turn attract phagocytes or dendritic cells, and the expression of such signals as phosphatidylserine and calreticulin which aid recognition by phagocytes or dendritic cells. Eventually, Danger-associated molecular patterns, such as HMGB1, are expressed. This enables dying tumor cells to lose the ability to induce tolerance and stimulate powerful anti-cancer immune responses. The idea of using viruses to treat cancer first began to take hold in the 1950s, when tissue culture systems and rodent cancer models were originally developed. Hundreds of cancer patients were treated with impure oncolytic virus preparations administered by almost every imaginable route. The viruses were usually arrested by the immune system and did not affect tumor growth, but sometimes infection took hold and tumors regressed, especially in immunosuppressed patients, although they frequently became sick or died when the infection spread to normal tissues. Since that first application of virus engineering to an oncolytic HSV, the pace of clinical activities has accelerated considerably, with a number of ongoing or completed trials using oncolytic viruses belonging to at least 10 different virus families and a steady stream of new oncolytic viruses entering the clinical arena. Although several ongoing trials are emphasizing intratumoral delivery, systemic delivery will be required for treatment of metastatic cancer. The goal of systemic therapy is to exceed the viremic threshold above which the virus nucleates a critical number of intratumoral infectious centers whose expansion and coalescence lead to tumor destruction. Therefore, current research is focused on minimizing oncolytic virus sequestration in the spleen and liver, evading neutralization by serum factors, targeting viruses to the vascular endothelial cells lining tumor blood vessels and selectively enhancing vessel permeability. Mammalian cells have evolved to resist virus infections. A typical infection involves attacks on cellular defenses by viral gene products, virulence proteins, defensive parries by the host cell through the elaboration of antiviral proteins and further counterattacks by the virus. Viral virulence genes encode proteins which suppress host defense systems, facilitate virus spread between cells and usurp cell metabolic processes. 
Oncolytic viruses are selected or engineered to be attenuated in normal tissues, often by mutation or deletion of virus virulence genes. Therefore, an oncolytic virus entering a normal cell triggers the cellular antiviral response but cannot counterattack, so the infection is quickly eliminated. The antiviral response involves production of proteins that counteract the virus through acting directly against the virus, communicating with adjacent cells or jump-starting apoptotic programs. There are several approaches to enhancing intratumoral spread of oncolytic viruses, including promoting viral growth by genetic arming and chemical sensitizers, improving virus spread in tumors, engineering tumor selectivity into oncolytic virus backbones, Controlling adaptive immunity and clearance of oncolytic viruses. Enhancing anti-tumor immunity. With years of experience in research of oncolytic viruses as well as our Q-Virus platform, Creative Biogene expeditiously moves your oncolytic program forward for initial early-stage clinical evaluation. Creative Biogene provides a broad range of oncolytic virus engineering scope including herpes simplex virus, adenovirus, measles virus, vaccinia virus, vesselar stomatitis virus, and so on. We provide customized, reliable and high-quality oncolytic virus therapy development services ranging from virus engineering, cell assays to animal testing. Various types of oncolytic viruses engineering systems have been established standardly to facilitate oncolytic virus development with less time and reduced budget. GMP-compliant manufacture of oncolytic virus is also included in our services. Our service includes oncolytic virus construction, oncolytic virus engineering, oncolytic virus validation, disease-specific oncolytic virotherapy development. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. We look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you for watching.